So a few months on from World's Toughest Mudder, I found myself on the start line of the Coastal Challenge, an ultra marathon in Central America. Hey guys, uh, I'm in Costa Rica. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Tom, and I'm a personal trainer from London. For those of you who do know me, welcome back. I am about to attempt the Coastal Challenge. This is a 230 kilometer race across six days and it pretty much covers every sort of terrain that this country has to offer. So we've got running on beaches, we've got running in wild jungle, there's some pretty epic river crossings and I'm sure there's loads more. Um, the thing that makes this race especially tough, aside from the distance, is the heat and the humidity. Uh, it's, I'm not used to it, um, so I'm a little bit worried about it. But uh, I've done plenty of uh, fitness, plenty of training, plenty of preparation. So uh, I will just give it my best like I always do. Let's see what happens. To be honest, I had no idea what I was in for. Day one, 33 kilometers to run, starting at Delray Beach and running to Rafiki Lodge. Uh, 893 meters of ascent. I thought I'd do a quick update. I've just gone past checkpoint one. It is so flipping hot. I'm right at the back. I just can't cool down. Um, I know my body and I know that I can't really sustain for long distances a heartbeat of more than 150 per minute. And just walking with a brisk pace, sometimes we're getting up to 160. So I'm just taking my sweet time. Plenty of runners ended up going okay. heat stroke. It was their first taste of the jungle. There was a lot of excitement oh, and I think quite yeah. a few yeah. people went off too quickly. Going downhill finally. Oh, look at this. It's so easy to get overheated. So, you know, this is some private spa time. Oh. oh, it's so good. I think I've done this four or five times now on day one. And every time I do it, I just feel revitalized and my headache kind of disappears. I love it. Nice. UK. Uh, end of day one. Uh, took it really slowly. It took me about six hours, 15 minutes or something. It was so hot at the start. It was so difficult to cool down. Um, but I feel really good now. Um, I think that tomorrow, although it's longer uh, and there's going to be more incline, based on how I'm feeling right now, uh, I'm ready to get going. So bring on day two. On day two, we ran to Dominical Beach Camp, 40.2 kilometers and about 1,750 meters of sand. Okay, start of day two. I'm feeling not too bad, not too achy, uh, and that is largely due to me pacing myself really well yesterday. Um, two big hills to climb. Uh, that's about it. Let's see how we go. Uh, walking with Weiss. Yes, exactly. From right. Holland. Yes. We're getting a nice steady pace. Um, I think we've got four or five K of really hard terrain left. Uh, and then it's all downhill from there. So we're gonna keep a nice steady pace and hopefully we'll get there in good time. Okay, hey! <laughs> I've done 26 and a half K on day two. This is the worst I've felt. I just feel exhausted. Uh, even walking is, is a real struggle. I'm taking five minutes, I'm going to try and cool down in the shade. And my feet really hurt, I've had to have them uh, bandaged, I've got some bad blisters already. So, uh, just hoping I can get through today. Oh, lovely.
day two complete, 40 kilometers done. Uh, it was very challenging, but I made the finish line. My feet are sore, I need to go see the foot doctor, but uh, I'm pleased that I'm here. That's 70 or so K out of 230 complete. Start of day three, uh, 47k ahead. Um, feeling a little bit sunburned, but generally speaking, feeling pretty good. My feet are a little bit sore, um, but given that I've run 75k or so, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. So let's do this. Day three, the target, Belena Bay, 47.5k to run today, a far more challenging day than the previous two days. Morning. I've done uh, about 12 and a half K on day three Woo! and uh, this is a very welcome sight. Sixteen K in day three. Really steep uphills, really steep downhills, very hard on the feet and the whole body to be honest. I've got about a kilometre left to the second checkpoint. Uh, once I've done that, that's all the climbing done. I've already done over 2,000 meters in the set, so it's been a really hard day. Look at this. Makes me feel a little bit better, just temporarily. You can get views like this. This country is awesome. I'm so desperate just to find a stream. There's been so little flat, and then there is in the glazing heat. It's so exhausting. My feet are so sore. It's racist. At the end of the day, high tide messed with the final eight or nine K of my run. It was meant to be a straightforward beach run, but most of the beach had disappeared due to a high tide, and I actually nearly got swept down a mangrove river. It was pretty hairy. So long, 12 hours. Too much. Every single terrain you can imagine. Just anything and everything. But I made it. Coronado to Palmasur. 36.2k to run, 2,083 meters of ascent. My feet are really sore. I had to have blisters popped yesterday by the doctor. My body feels okay, but I'm limping everywhere. I'm hoping that when I get going, I'll feel a bit better. Uh, but it's going to be a really tough day today. If I was to be sat around the table discussing how to make an ultramarathon with some friends and I put forward day four, I think everyone would laugh and go, no, 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 it's, that's out of order, that's out of order. It was that ridiculous. My feet really hurt. They're really hard. I think I've got to do a heat stroke, so 
can't pass this opportunity. Day four. It's awful. I didn't feel much today because I didn't have the energy. But I made it. And tomorrow I've got another 47k to go, which is actually quite a lot. Of it's not nice. uh, Just gonna do what I can, but this is the most beaten up I felt by a long way. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Right, let's go to bed. It's exhausting just to even think and talk about it. <laughs> my feet are um, completely screwed and my body feels tired in a way that it hasn't done, I don't think, ever. And now I've got to do 47K through some really challenging terrain again. <sighs> this is the first time I've really doubted myself. So, I'll just give it my best. Okay, Tom's uh, just set off this morning for day five and he looked like a shell of a man. Uh, his morale was really low. Just fingers crossed he can uh, get to the checkpoints of the cutoff times today. I've just started day five. I'm right at the back already. <laughs> the task ahead seems a little overwhelming. One more splash of water before okay, I go. Yeah, yeah. At the start of day five, I don't think I've ever been so physically and mentally broken. Uh, I genuinely thought I wasn't capable of getting through this race. These streams get more important every time. It's so exhausting. I dragged myself through day five and bumped into two other runners. We were all broken, uh, but I think we managed to encourage each other to get to the boat crossing, which was around 40 kilometers. The boat crossing, however, ended up being a disaster. I don't think this is a good idea. I don't think this is a good idea. It turns out the boat was massively overloaded, so we capsized. could get ugly. It was a major panic. We need help! But we were essentially stranded in a mangrove for an hour, which is supposedly also the home of the Costa Rican crocodile population. A dude called Caesar then arrived with the rescue boat. Another canoe with one paddle. Finally, when we managed to get across that mangrove, and reach that final checkpoint, we still had 10k to run. Having gone through hell the previous four days and 40k on day five, there was nothing stopping me running that final 10k and getting into camp. Honestly, finishing day five felt like finishing the race because it was such an overwhelming task at the start of the day and so many things went wrong that when I finally got into camp, I was really overwhelmed. Okay, I made day five, uh, which is amazing because it was so, it was just so ridiculous. It just shouldn't be, it should, races shouldn't be like that. One more day to go. Okay, day six the victory loop of Drake's Bay. Meant to be an easy day, but it's still 23 kilometers, which is over half a marathon. Let's do this.
I've done a lot of ultra marathons the last couple of years, but there's something different about the Coastal Challenge. The insane humidity, the crazy heat, the unbelievable inclines and declines, and the sheer number of them. couldn't help but break down at the finish line. It was one of the most emotional things I've ever been through.